Pisces rising December 2023 looks like a month where you're focused on your overarching mission. What is it that you want to do or what is the image that you want to uphold that reflects who you really are? At the same time, some travel tricks and trips. Uh, the journey for you begins on December 1st when Mercury enters your 11th house of long-term goals, aspirations, and chosen alliances, which means that your mind is trying to find people who think similarly to you so you can help recover from capitalism, the patriarchy, or systems that basically perpetuate oppression. On December 3rd, Venus in Libra in your eighth house makes an opposite, or sorry, makes a square aspect to Pluto in Capricorn. And so you're feeling as if like you have money in the bank, but you don't want to spend it. Like there's something inside of you or there's something happening in the community where you're like, ah, I don't really trust this or the people giving you financial advice, the people that you are currently rocking with are giving you advice that you can sense isn't right or for you. On December 4th, Venus enters Scorpio, and this is your ninth house of higher education and long distance travel, which means that those areas doing those things, maybe taking an online course or expanding your horizons, be it mentally or physically, is where the gifts lie for you. The universe wants to push you in that direction. December 5th to 6th, Venus and Scorpio makes a trine aspect to Saturn and Pisces, whether you're joining an online course or community, whether you're booking a trip and leaving the country, you see that this opportunity exists because of your own blood, sweat, and tears. It's because you had the courage to show up as yourself that you attracted the right opportunity to you. On December 6th, Neptune stations direct in Pisces for the past couple of months. There was a lack of clarity around who you are, who you are to yourself and who you are to other people. Now that Neptune is direct, you have the ability to bring out all of the things that you have been exploring within yourself onto paper or into reality. There isn't this nebulousness around who you are and what you want to create. On December 7th to 8th, Mercury and Capricorn in your 11th house makes a trine aspect to Jupiter and Taurus in your third. You have something, how would I say this exactly? You are bringing a positive and optimistic attitude to your chosen community. You are the person who is enlightening and inspiring. You're bringing this empress energy to an area of your life that feels really complicated and maybe even triggering. On December 9th to 10th, Venus and Scorpio in your ninth house makes an opposition to Jupiter and Taurus. This is Venus and Jupiter, both positive, benefic planets on the axes of education and learning. So it feels like an abundance of opportunities to gain a new perspective and believe new thoughts, new beliefs. <laughs> on December 12th, there's a new moon in Sagittarius in the 10th house conjunct Mars but it's in aspect to Neptune. So it feels like you are declaring like, this is who I am, this is what I wanna do, but it's an uphill climb and I don't have the details figured out. And so exciting, we're looking at our overarching mission statement and beginning again. On the 13th, Mercury stations retrograde in your 11th house, which means that instead of being a mouthpiece for somebody or something, we are, beginning to think that maybe the reason why we are fighting so hard is of course because we care about the, these communities and these people, but because we have felt victimized over a long period of time. And that if you have over exaggerated or if you've gone too far, or you've pushed it too much or you've internalized the pain in such a way that it is causing physical harm to you, that this that's part of your behaviors have just been a projection of you trying to heal yourself. Way psychoanalytic, most people won't tell you that, I will. On December 16th to 17th, the sun in Sagittarius in your 10th house makes a square aspect to Neptune in Pisces in your first. You're kind of getting scared that what you have envisioned for yourself, the legacy that you wanna leave is too big for you. It's kind of like you're wanting to pull out or you're getting cold feet. A moment of like self undoing potentially because uh, it's the square aspect. On the 17th to the 19th, Mercury and Capricorn in your 11th house again makes that trine aspect to Jupiter and Taurus. It is the communication with people who think and feel like you do that keeps you connected to source, that keeps you connected to the, to the light. On December 20th, 20th to 21st, Venus and Scorpio in your 9th house makes an opposition to Uranus and Taurus. You are saying something, you're showing up on social media, you're pushing out a message that people do not expect from you. And in turn, it creates 
a little bit of dis-ease or uncomfortability like with your belief system almost like you're challenging your own beliefs the information that you are currently receiving about the reality that you're living in challenges what you are trying to believe or what you have believed in the past on the 22nd uh december 22nd jesus christ there is a sun mercury kazemi and sagittarius illumination and clarity around what you need to do to make your dreams come true sounds very vanilla a lot of buzzwords but i think you're embarking on something big something that you'll look back on and think like holy shit my whole public image changed during this specific time period on December 23rd, we have Mercury retrograde sliding back into Sagittarius, which means that as you have this illumination and clarity around what you want to bring to the world, it requires that you go back and see the places that we took a misstep, the details that have fallen through the cracks, research, we're doing deep dives, almost like I want to be this person, now how do I change my habits so you know who I am and who I want to be, or like the distance between the two is less. On December 23rd, I'm sorry, on December 25th, 26th, Mercury and Sagittarius in your 10th house makes a square aspect to Neptune and Pisces. So again, it, it's like second guessing yourself, trying to talk yourself off the ledge, uh, but you need to take that leap of faith, you know, knowing that the net will appear. On the 26th, there's a full moon in Cancer in your fifth house of creativity, joy, and passion. Either you go on a date and it's really fun, or you go out with somebody and you have a great time, or you are releasing a project that you've been working on behind the scenes, an announcement that reflects joy and pleasure in your life. On December 27th to 28th, we have Mercury retrograde conjunct Mars and Sagittarius. This is like our mind and our body are wanting to fire, but we don't have the details and we're almost being impatient with the process. The sun in Capricorn is also here trying Jupiter and Taurus. So as you're trying to get momentum in your career space and it's not working and you're getting frustrated, you're able to turn to a group of people who have your back and are kind of guiding you through that process in a way that assages the nerves, alleviates the anxiety. And on the 28th to the 29th, Mars and Sagittarius again makes a square, ne a square aspect to Neptune and Pisces. It feels like you on you like the old version of you versus the new version of you or the upcoming version of you and you trying to manage the space in between. And lastly, on the 30th, Venus enters the 10th house of career, uh, Sagittarius, which says that all of these trials and tribulations that you've been facing, any opponents that you've been contending with, any authority figure issues that you have had were worth it because you win and now the gifts are plentiful. So Pisces, that's what I got for you. If you liked this reading, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to work with me, you can find me at wellandrising.com forward slash services. Toodles!